Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I want to show you how to project your entire Samsung Galaxy Note 8 to your Mac or PC screen via Wi Fi. And of course, this procedure will apply to other phones such as Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus. But anyway, as you can see, the phone is currently projected onto my screen. Now, that's a MacBook Pro, and inside it, as a window, I'm running my Samsung Galaxy Note 8. The Note 8 is actually sitting on the table right now, charging wirelessly, but that's not stopping me from using it right inside my computer. Now, the computer can be a Mac or a PC, it doesn't matter. So I can easily launch the phone, make some phone calls using the keypad, uh, or just go through my contacts. I can do the recent apps. Uh, I can launch YouTube and start to watch videos. And of course, the videos will play through the computer's speakers. But anyway, let's dive in and show you how to get this done for yourself and also look at some of the other features of this fantastic tactic. Okay, so here are the requirements to get this accomplished. First, go to your Galaxy Note 8, and that's the actual Note 8, by the way. I just put it there so you can see both the laptop and the Note 8 for now. And download the app called SideSync. This is an official Samsung app, and it's 100% free. Then go to your web browser on your PC or Mac and go to Samsung's SideSync download page. The link will be down in the description box below. Download and install SideSync on your PC or Mac. And of course, now you are ready to roll. Let's dive in. All right, so once you have everything installed, one other thing you have to make sure is that both of these devices, uh, the laptop and the phone, are connected to the same Wi-Fi. Once all that is ready and good to go, uh, launch Side Sync really quick, and it's going to ask you to open it, turn on Wi-Fi, and select a device to connect. So it's saying there's one device that it found that is also using Side Sync, and that's the Count's MacBook Pro, which is this guy right here. And what I can do is uh, I can also launch Side Sync from here or from here, uh, or I can do on both. So let me launch this guy also, and here it is. Now this side sync is saying scanning for available devices and it's saying Saki Note, uh, which is my actual cell phone right here. So I can either tap this or tap this to uh, initiate the actual connection. So let me just uh, click on this one with my mouse and it's going to actually initiate the connection. And you'll see that this is going to turn off and uh, this is going to actually uh, get projected to the screen. Before that though, it's saying connect via side sync. Uh, just click OK over here, and then click OK over here, and that just causes a confirmation to happen, and then both products can start talking to each other. And there you go. Now your phone is projected to the home screen. And again, you have two windows here you can play with. Uh, you have this one window here that shows the screen of your device, or you can use this window here uh, that is a smaller version uh, of everything that is happening on your phone and it even gives you the notifications right over here. So I can actually turn off the phone screen by tapping this guy. If I tap this, uh, the phone screen gets turned off here, it gets activated over here, but I can still see all the notifications that I get right here. I can still uh, you know, access certain apps like music, uh, photos and all that good stuff from here. But if you want to see the actual screen projected onto the uh, laptop or, or, or any kind of PC, you just tap it on, tap this guy, that one turns on, and this one comes right here. And from here, I can do, like I just showed you a couple of minutes ago, just about everything. So I can go to the website here. Uh, I can go back out. Uh, let, me, let me just go back here uh, to the world headlines. I can click here. I can start to search for stuff. Let's go to Amazon.com right there. I can browse the web just as if I was using my cell phone. I can also go to my, um, let me go back home here. I can go to my phone here and I can start to call people. No, pro I can go to anywhere, recents, contacts, places. And when I call somebody, obviously it's going to use the phone to make the call, but I can use the built-in microphone and the speakers to talk to the person. So the phone could be away charging on a wireless pad and I can perform these tasks from here. Of course, I can also send text messages. Uh, I can launch any app. So if I want to go to the Yelp app, I can just tap it. That's the Yelp app right there. I can start to uh, browse it. Again, everything is happening the same way it would happen on your smartphone. Here's a new comment I just got. It shows up right there. Also gives you a little preview on the top. 
This is absolutely fantastic. Uh, let me go back here. Uh, I just want to let you know you can also use, let me go back to the home screen over here. Uh, you can use the camera with this remotely. Uh, you can use the maps, whatever you want. And of course, I already talked about this thing over here. I just like this multi-window interface. So you don't have to actually pull down to see your notifications panel at all uh, because that would be a little bit extra pain in the ass because now you're using a mouse or, or a touchpad. But what you could do is if there's a comment here, you can just click on it and launch the corresponding app and it's gonna show you the comment no problem uh, as if you pulled down the notifications panel and uh, clicked on it. So effectively, this is your notifications panel. Uh, you can also drag and drop files here to share. So I can drag files from my computer, uh, my, my phone here, into this area to be shared onto my PC or Mac or vice versa. So let's say I want to transfer a file. Let's, uh, what is this over here? It says file transfer. You tap this, it launches the files app on the actual uh, Note 8. And from here, I can grab this, for example, and I can say uh, send. It's going to send the entire downloads uh, folder, or documents folder in this case, to my PC, no problem. So let me do it like this. Let's select this. Let's click send. It says preparing to receive the files, connecting to Saki Tech. That's 279 megabytes. Everything is being transferred over uh, to my computer right now, the entire downloads folder from my phone. Now, let me just cancel that. I don't really need it there right now, but it's a possibility as you can see. Over here, you can come here. It says add to favorites. You can click plus. You can add any app that you want into your favorites from here. So effectively, this is not only a notifications panel. It's a little command center uh, with quick apps. So let me just go home here. Let's say I want to use an app here. Okay, so let's say I want to use an app here and I use it a lot. I can click plus and I can say, okay, I use the Amazon app a lot or Best Buy app a lot. I click this, I click add. Now, every time I want to go to Best Buy, I don't have to search for it. I just go here, click Best Buy, boom, it launches right here. And I can start to do uh, what I usually do uh, with the, with the uh, Best Buy app, okay? And again, you can use the uh, mouse or the touchpad to browse around this stuff, okay? So I can even do uh, some shopping here if they have some good deals and all that good stuff. Uh, let's go back out here. Uh, other things you can do, like I said, you can tap this guy. It turns off this, goes back over here, or it can go right back if you want. Uh, you can also go to more here. You have a bunch of settings. You can do enable keyboard and mouse sharing. Uh, you can see your file transfer history. Uh, get some information here. Maybe update the side sync when the updates are available. This is currently up to date. Let's click that. Go to more. Uh, go to settings. You can even uh, select these options. It says start side sync when I log into my computer and even automatically connect to the device which has been connected before. You can also allow it to uh, launch in the dashboard mode. This is the dashboard, by the way, or dashboard plus mirrored screen. Okay, so if I have this one here and if I click out of this, let's exit all this stuff. Let's end side sync. Uh, when I launch side sync on my PC, it's going to, you know, give me, this is the dashboard right here. So it's going to look for the uh, device that is currently available. So let me launch this also at Saki Note. Click this. Now, as you can see, it only starts as a dashboard because that's the setting that I just chose. So if I want to project the screen, I click this guy and that's when the screen gets projected. But again, if you go back to the settings here, uh, that's the option. If you want it by default, dashboard plus mirrored screen, then you can choose this. And in this scenario, let me just exit one more time. I just want you guys to see everything. Uh, let's exit here. Let's go back to side sync. Let me launch side sync here. So it's available. Now, if I connect this time, it's going to actually give me the uh, the dashboard mode, and also the phone is going to get mirrored right on the screen. Absolutely fantastic. The level of detail you get with these things is amazing. Now, Side Sync has been around for a while, but it simply wasn't as stable as this. It's working wirelessly right now via Wi Fi. Uh, I can have my phone charging if I wanted to, or whatever. Okay, it could be sitting, it could be connected via USB for even a more stable and powerful connection. But right now, even with the Wi Fi, 
I see no problem, okay? This is pretty fast for a Wi-Fi connection. There's minimum lag, and I can launch any app that I want here and use my phone completely. Even go to the settings here. Uh, let's uh, pull the notifications down, go to the settings. Now, as you can see, I can do anything that I want with my phone. I can even, you know, what's the battery level, performance mode, anything, you know, just to show you guys. You can accomplish anything on your phone right on your PC or Mac. And all the notifications right here, you can actually X them out. So now we have nothing. Add more shortcuts uh, from here. Uh, it even tells you when you scroll over the Wi-Fi, it says signal strength is very strong. So the stronger the signal strength for your Wi-Fi, the smoother the connection is going to be to your smartphone. Okay, so sometimes when you walk away from your Wi-Fi, the connection might get a little bit less, but, uh, you know, as you come, it's not going to happen because these days, uh, wireless routers are pretty strong. But again, you can use the phone as the phone's camera. Uh, you can use this as a remote shooter. You can use the phone. You can go to websites. You can go to messages, text with people. This is great for if I'm doing something on my computer here, let's say I'm doing some work. I don't want to be able to touch my phone every five seconds. I could have my phone sitting right on the desktop and continue texting with people as I please and then also continue working. It just makes life easy. It's a great little tool. Another reason why I really like the Samsung phones, a lot of people don't know these deep and rich features that these phones have. So other flagship smartphones right now in the market are not going to be able to do anything like this. This is a massive feature if you know how to use it. But that basically brings us to the end of this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, just go to uh, the Play Store, grab SightSync, go download SightSync for your PC or Mac. The link is down below. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just drop them down below. Uh, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech for more videos to come. And if you do use Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook, Make sure to follow me there at Saki Tech Online for latest updates. Uh, guys, have a fantastic day.